everyone was terrified in that conference room. But we don't know what made the president get up and leave that press conference, but, you know, we deserve some answers, I think, from, uh, from the government. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Oh my god! John! 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 Dr. Scott! Smitty! Hey man! Oh, what's up? Oh, 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 How does it feel to finally be done with school? It's awesome. It's awesome. The school is kicking my ass though. That shit was whack. <laughs> oh, moving on to bigger and better things now though. Speaking of which, who do we have oh, here? Oh my god. This is Samantha. Samantha, this is John. Samantha um, lives down the street from me. Right, I know Samantha. <laughs> Trust me, not only is Scott here now a doctor. Oh no, veterinarian. But he's also one of the best guys I know. But I do have to warn you that he will find a way to screw up this conversation somehow. Not, you know, don't listen to him, okay? Because this guy, is not, he's not full, he's full of it. Because really, I'm dirty. No, no, I mean, I don't mean that in a sexual way. I mean, unless you like that. Do you like that? I, well, I mean, I could be. See what I mean. Hey, John, get your ass over here. It's time for some shots. Looks like our presence is the request in the kitchen. He hopped to scoop this conversation later. Don't leave, okay? Please don't leave. Take a nut. Everybody. All right, grab a glass. Grab a glass. Hey, shut up. Grab a glass. You two Astrid. Okay. I'm not one for speeches, so I'm going to keep this short, okay? For the past year, I've come to know all of you like a family, okay? And I love each of you. Very much, especially you. Uh, I know, I know. Last year, when we drove out here, I never would have thought I'd be the only one left still unemployed. <laughs> so, having said that, I'm down to strike a little deal with you guys, okay? The first person, the first person who gets me a job, I will let have sex with my bow dog. Okay, okay, that's wow. one. Put, put her away. That's a joke, John. Right. Just trying to have fun with the people. Okay, raise them high and toast to friends. No, to correction, family, family, good tunes. Good brew, and the best first year anybody can ever hope to have in yeah. the new city. Yeah. Cheers! Yeah. Yeah. Get up there! Uh, second! No, no, Ooh, one second! No, no, no. I'll keep these toast going all night! I'll keep going all night! John. What's the deal, man? Didn't you guys break up like two weeks ago? Yo, I can go keep his ass if you want. No, I'm fine, you guys. This is a celebration, right? And we're celebrating. Right, that, brother. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. Tori. Hi. John, hi. How are you? Good. Good. Things are uh, really good. Uh, how about yourself? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've just been really busy with school and other stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, who is your friend here? Oh, God. Uh, I'm sorry. This is Jacob. Jacob. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Tori told me a lot about you. I just want you to know that uh, she's in good hands. Really? That's, uh, that's, that's good to hear. Very comforting. Look, I, I, I hope that this isn't awkward. No, 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 no. This, it's fine, right? We're all adults. It's good. Uh, so, Jacob, can I get you anything to drink? Glad you asked. I'm kind of feeling a Long Island iced tea. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's. Uh, I'll go get that for you. Long Island iced tea. It's like I've never heard of it before. What a rookie. So, what's the verdict? Well, uh, you know, what I thought, typical frat boy. He looks like such a cowgirl with that shirt. I could take his head and go dunk him in our toilet. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, man, I know it's hard, but look, it's a big city, and there are plenty of good girls out there. You just need one. Just one. Just... Yeah, he's right. <laughs> what do you know, Adam? How many girls have you been with since we got here, huh? 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 Shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. Can we be a little mature here, please? Please? Mature? Huh? Yeah. Well, we just now have breaking news coming out. We go now to the top story of the hour. Guys, come over here. Check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> What's going on? Everyone, oh, shut up! Yeah, yeah, I got this on now. Tuning in, and you might be one of many viewers trying to figure out what those mysterious bright lights are up in the sky. Well, the truth is that you're not the only one. NASA, along with the Russian space program, just alerted the media that it is believed to be a group of meteors from deep outer space. They went on to say that they are still investigating the matter, but need more time to make a valid assessment. 
However, some astronomers managed to come to their own conclusion after remote surface temperature readings indicated that the meteors are mostly comprised of ice, resembling glaciers rather than rocks. Space programs quickly wrapped up the press conference by saying that these meteors pose absolutely no threat to us and are expected to safely pass by Earth sometime early tomorrow morning. Dude, I see it! What? Seriously? Oh my god, where is this? There it is. Oh my gosh, imagine that thing actually hit us. Oh, that's scary. Oh, so how big did they say it was? This calls for shots! Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, <laughs> you said it yourself. We just missed out on the apocalypse. This doesn't deserve a toast. I don't know what the hell it does. Plus, I already poured these goddamn things. So shut up and drink them. Everybody get in here. Oh, my gosh. Man. Right. John, get your head in the game, bro. Grab a glass. Right. Toast to tomorrow. Because with each night you live, you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Am I right? I'll bring yeah. to that. Cheers.
crap! What's going on? I don't know. Just stay inside. David! We're out here. You guys okay? Yeah, we're all right. Amy, Amy, stay inside and we know what's going on, all right? Dude, what's going on? Hey, what do you guys see up there? Lots of smoke. Looks like downtown, possibly North Hollywood. How bad is it? Looks pretty freaking bad. What the hell is going on, man? I don't know. My sister goes to UCLA and said a bunch of things just hit the campus. Like what? She doesn't know, but they're hitting everywhere. Amy! Amy, stay inside. Have you seen my brother? Amy! Have you seen my brother? Not since last night. I don't know where he is. I'll check in with you later. All right, good luck. Be careful. Amy, stay inside. Shut up, shut up, shut, shut, shut it up, Adam. Los Angeles area, ranging from downtown all the way to Santa Monica. Police and fire departments are working together, but have said thousands, if not tens of thousands of citizens have been injured or even killed in this horrifying incident. Oh my God. We can't yet confirm, but sources are indicating that the explosions may or may not be related to last night's meteor sighting, which was expected. Where's my brother? I thought he was with you last night. Downtown. Scott, where's my brother? Where's Turner? I, I don't know. He, he said he was gonna stay at a uh, friend's house. Or Ricky, Mickey, Mickey. Oh, damn it. What, where, where are you going? I strongly recommend to our viewers that you stay indoors until we figure out exactly what's going on. Thank God, okay. Are you all you right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you Listen to me. Okay, just just stay where you are. I'm coming to get you. Fine. We're perfectly fine. Just wait at Mickey's. I'm on my way, all right? Did you hear me? What? No, just wait at Mickey. I'm coming to get you, all right? Just hello? Turner! Shit! may hit the city within the following hour. We recommend to our viewers that you seek shelter immediately. The government is instructing people to follow- Hey, wait, procedures. wait, Mickey, what? Where's my brother? Everybody's at the top of the parking structure trying to get a better look. Are you coming? Check it out, bro. It's like freaking madness out there. Look, we have to go. Are you kidding me? We got front row seats. Jimmy just ran this door to get some beer. The news just said there might be more on the way. We have to go now. Hey, check it out. I think one just hit West LA. Oh, this is really freaking exciting, man. Come on. We have to go right now. All right. Hey, Mickey, save me some beers, all right? Grandpa. Eric, you happy now? Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. What should we do? We get back to the house and we wait for things to calm down. I can't believe this is happening. It's all like really exciting, don't you think? Just, just call the guys, alright, and tell them to pack up what they can. Alright, alright. Okay. Damn it, it's not working! Try it again! Alright. 
Watch out! smoke to get inside here. God, is this really happening? <coughs> Adam, are you okay? Yeah, I, I think it's just the smoke. Power must be out in the whole damn neighborhood. Anybody see any street lights that are working? It's the middle of the day, Turner. Turner, where's the radio? Check another tool drawer. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, do you think anybody's dead? <coughs> I see people outside. Should we make sure they're okay? What do we do? No, 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 not yet. Wait till the smoke dies down. <laughs> So that's it? We're stuck in here now? What? No, 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 no. There's no way I'm staying here. Why did they say to stay away from other people? Look, we don't know what's going on. All right? They know more than we do, so we, we have to do what they say. Yep, John, look. What's the big deal? I inhale a little smoke. My girlfriend lives eight blocks from here. I gotta go and make sure she's okay. I'll bring her back. He's right. We should group up. All right. Go on, but come right back. You got it. I'm going to. No. No, you're staying here. Oh, what? You're the boss of me now? Is that it? You're my kid brother. That makes you my responsibility. Hey, John, you may be my older brother, but that doesn't mean jack shit when it comes time for me to make my own decisions. Well, maybe if you use logic once in a while, I wouldn't have to babysit you. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Come on, guys. Oh, guys, stop it. What are you doing? Come on. You can fight about this later, but we're right now, gosh, I don't even need to calm down. Now go drink some milk or something. Are you coming? Be right back.
Up top, Astrid. Astrid. Oh. Astrid. Baby. Astrid. Nate, we're in here. Astrid. Oh my God! What happened? What's wrong with her? I don't know. She was fine like 20 minutes ago, and then she just fell down. Okay, baby, just hold on, okay? <laughs> What's happening to me? Everything's gonna be okay, all right? Just try and breathe slowly. Concentrate on breathing, all right? I can't breathe. Jesus Christ, Nate, what happened? I don't know, I have no idea. What should we do? We need to get her back to the house, okay? No, no, we need to call an ambulance. You think I didn't try? The phones aren't working, I tried like 20 times. If we can get her back to Scott, he should know what to do. He can help. Scott's a veterinarian. Yeah, I know that. Look, he's all we got, okay? Turner. All right, all right, just um, go get all the batteries and flashlights as you can, okay? And any food, too. Okay. Okay. Hang in there, hang in there. Grab her arm. Okay, we're gonna lift you, okay? Can you stand? Can you stand? Grab her arm. We're gonna lift you, okay? Can you stand? Hang in there, grab her arm. We're gonna lift you, okay? Can you stand? Hang in there, grab her arm. We're gonna lift you, okay? Can you stand? I think I see more people. What was that? I think the power clicked back on. We Adam, check the breaker. I think that's it. Yeah, th that's it. Power's back on. Is there anything we should be doing, like trying to call the police? I already tried that. It's not working. I have to see what's going on. If you're just now joining us, reports are coming in over the waves that thousands of people are now becoming extremely ill due to what is believed to be toxins released from the glacial meteors. Turn it up. Heavy landfall just a while ago. Reports started coming in over the radio that numerous people were becoming sick and forced the government to basically quarantine the city until they figure out exactly what is going on. We have been hearing that people are becoming mentally ill and in some cases showing extreme violence, symptoms that can only be related. What are they saying? Is there something in the, the smoke that's Army making people violent? The began quarantining the city just under an hour ago. Now, Is that even possible? Enough, do not come into contact with anyone who may show these symptoms, for they are considered extremely dangerous, and not to mention, possibly contagious. Baby, baby, hang in there. We're gonna get you help, okay? How much further? Just a few more bucks. Just do something, damn it, please. Jesus Christ, she's burning up. So somebody, uh, uh, grab some towels, uh, put some water on them, okay? I'm on it. God, her heart sounds like it's gonna explode. Uh, do we have any aspirin? Does somebody get some aspirin, please? Please, help! Aspirin, is it gonna be okay? Good God, get a flashlight, too? Scott, what else? I don't know, God damn it. It's all right. <gasps> Give me the aspirin, John. Here, here. Hang in there. How did this start? 
I, she just was acting funny and then she started bleeding. I don't know. Did, did she take any other kind of medications, anything at all? I don't know. Well, come on, yes or no? No. Okay. Here's the tell. Some of these. Try and swallow. Try to get some in there. Ugh. It's just like the TV said. What? What are you talking about? It's something in the smoke. It's making people sick. Astrid's not the only one. It's happening all across the city. What's causing it? They don't know. You know, it has to be some type of amoeba or a spore. You know, something inhaled through the smoke. Wait, wait, wait. If that's the case, then why aren't we all sick? Huh? I mean, we've all inhaled some of that stuff, right? Yeah, but from, from what I've studied, if it is a respiratory virus, some people will show effects immediately and it may not affect others at all. What? Huh? Wait a minute. What's happening? Uh. Wilson, I'll hold her arms. Wait, wait what? I'll hold her arms down. Baby! Come on, baby! Hold on! Baby! Do something, Captain! Do, do something! Is she okay? Do something! She's dead. What? Has her? Be Did you see what happened, right? I bet you heard the TV. They're quarantining Los Angeles. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. But unless we want to end up like Astrid, we really don't have a choice. Well, Scott, you said so yourself. It can affect each one of us differently. And that means any one of us could start showing symptoms at any minute. Now, what can we do? Who's got a plan? the coast. Follow the beach up north. It's actually not such a bad idea, you know? The coastal winds will help dilute the air some. It'll be less threatening to breathe it there. Okay, okay, well, uh, how will we get there? I mean, who has a car close by? My roommates. Uh, it's in the parking garage on 28th. I mean, it's, it's a walk, but I think we can make it. All right. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the car to the coast, and we're gonna drive ourselves out of here. We're taking her with us. Taking her with us. Jesus, Nate. John's right. Hey, man, listen to logic. I know, I know it's hard to accept Astrid's gone, okay? But for all we know, she may be contagious. We, we can't take that risk. We have to go, and we have to leave her. Yeah, man, just have a drink and calm down. I don't want a goddamn drink, okay? Look, either we're taking her with us, or I'm staying. Do you understand? I'm not about to abandon her like some kind of dead dog. I'm not gonna do that. Don't ask me to do that. Either we take her with us or I'm staying. God, we can't just take a dead body with us. We don't have room in a car.
believe that lunch has happened. Scott. Is she alright? She's dead. She's freaking dead. The whole city could be like this. Alright, anybody else think it's time for us to get the hell out of here? Nate? Alright. The sun's gonna be down soon. So if we're gonna do this, we do it now. Grab only what you need. We'll leave this house in five minutes. I say we take Lincoln all the way to Wilshire, then hop on the one north up to Malibu. We have to make a stop first. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait a minute. We're not stopping anywhere. You talking about Tori? I have to make sure she's okay. You have no idea where she is right now. For all you know, she could be in a car heading out of town. Or worse, she could be sick. It sounds risky. I don't care what you guys think. It's on the way. And if you're adamant against it, I'll go alone. It's on the way? Yes. If she's not there, then we go on without her, you got it? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Guys, guys, guys. My roommate's car is over by the elevators. I'm gonna run upstairs, get the keys, I'll be right back. Hey, make it fast. Maybe we should start checking these cars, you know, for stuff that could be useful. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, everybody split up, but nobody leave this level. We meet back here in five minutes, got it? Reggie, you here? Hello? Where did you put your keys? Reggie? 
What's that? I don't know. It's some kind of radio. Maybe you should try another channel? Reggie, you in there? Hello? Oh, thank God, man. Reggie, we're all leaving town, man. Come on, let's go. Reggie, come on, let's go, man. Reggie? Second thought, you better stay here. Hey, hey, I got something. What is it? I don't know, it's a weak signal. What is that? Should you try saying something? Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? You guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Did you guys find anything useful? Just a radio. We can't reach anyone from down here, though. Jesus, it's been 10 minutes. Where the hell is Scott? I think we need a new plan. Keep going forward! 
we do now? Huh? Which one of you has a bright idea now? Just calm down. I'm not gonna calm down, John. You wanna know why? Because none of us are gonna make it out of here alive. What do we do now? What are we gonna do? All right, new plan. My car is only about a mile from here, so I think considering the circumstances, that's our best bet. But I'm going for Tori now. Oh my God, John, you cannot be serious. Really? The place is only a couple blocks from here. If I get her now, we won't have to stop later. All right, but no bullshit. If she's not there, then we leave with that. We got it. Here. What if you don't make it? Huh? How will we even know? If we're not there in 40 minutes, you leave without us. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. Then that's the plan. I'm going with you. You sure? Yeah. All right. 40 minutes. See you there. Take care of yourself. You too. What? Are you kidding me? What? God, John, what are you, what are you doing here? Why the hell did you just hit me? Wait, I didn't know it was you. John, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. Oh my God, 
You're, you're bleeding, all right? Come on, let's just go to Tori, is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's just John. Hi, I'm Tori's boyfriend, Jacob. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, this is gonna sting a little bit. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Well, what are you guys doing here? I came here to get you. To get me? Okay, why? You don't know. Know what? There's something in the smoke making people change. Making people sick. And we were on our way out of here and I just, I couldn't... You couldn't what? I couldn't leave without making sure you were okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, all right, I appreciate your concern, but we are perfectly fine. You don't understand. If you stay here, you can die. Both of you. Trust us. Then what's the plan? We meet up at Turner's car, we drive up the coast, and get the hell out of this mess. That's it? That, that's the plan? Yeah, that's the plan. You're coming with us. So you and Jason can go grab whatever you need so we can get out of here. His name's Jacob. What? Never mind. Adam. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. Jacob? Yeah, I think so. The following message is a public announcement that has been provided by the U.S. military in an attempt to warn survivors of operations currently underway. Due to the severity of the what is that? disaster, we are unable to maintain control. At 0500, orders are in place for the U.S. military to begin the use of chemical weapons over the city of Los Angeles. If you are able to vacate the premises, you have until 5 a.m. to do so. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did Chemical weapons? What the hell are they talking about? What's going on? It must be worse than we thought. How long does that give us? Less than five hours. What do we do? We stick to the plan. We meet up with Turner. Everybody, we're leaving now. I'm not going. What? I'm staying. Tori, if you don't mind, I'd like to just stay here in this apartment, if that's okay. No, 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 that's not part of the plan. We all go. John, I'm sick. I've seen what I'm gonna become. I'd rather do it alone than burden my friends. Maybe he should stay here. You shut the hell up. Nobody asked your opinion. We are leaving this apartment. All of us. And that includes you. Got it. All right, let's go.
You guys go. Adam, I mean it! Come on! Please, give me this. Just get out of here. Go! time. What took you guys so long? Just get in the car. Wait, wait, where's Adam? He didn't make it. All right, guys, let's get the vehicle moving here. Remember we're on the clock? What's he talking about? We heard in the radio they're going to start bombing the city in a few hours. I can't be serious. I hate this city. All right, everybody buckle up. I ain't stopping this car for nothing. I can't believe this. They're all I've given the city. All the parking tickets I've paid. I was planning on paying all my taxes on top of things. Only for them to return the favor by dropping bombs on us in a crisis. What kind of town is this? Who the hell is this guy? My name is Jacob. <laughs> well, Jacob, would you mind shutting your face while I drive your ass to safety? I can't think with these stupid noises coming from your frickin' mouth. <laughs> My father happens to be a very powerful congressman, I'll have you know, and one day I plan on being a state senator. So I would watch the tone in which you are speaking. The tone in which you are speaking? Could it, Turner? No! Who the hell talks like that? You want to know who talks like this? Your mother because I had sex with her last night. Well, both of you just shut the hell up. Look, I don't know who you think you are, but from what I gather, one of my best friends just died trying to save your worthless life. So please forgive me if I politely ask you to shut your freaking mouth before I kick your ass out of this car! How's that for a tone, dipshit? Turner, just drive the damn car. I don't know how she picked you over my brother. This world just continues to surprise me. this. Hey, get out of the way! Are you deaf? Get out of the way! Come on! No, this, this isn't right. I, I don't like this. What do you want me to do? Run her over? Park and get out of the vehicle. Everybody just stay calm, okay? I'm not gonna ask again! Just do what the man says, all right? No. What? I'm not giving him this car. Jesus Christ, Turner, the man has a gun. Come on, do what he says! You think I can't see that? 
Don't mess with him, okay? He just wants the car. I'm not giving him this goddamn car. Turn him, we'll get another car. Just do what he says. Everybody, hold on. Oh, please! Please don't do this.
something got to him. What happened? Payback was still in my car, that's what happened. Shut up, Turner. Okay? He's dead. can't stop. It's not much further. Come on. I can't. Look at me. Look at me. We have to keep moving. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just a few more blocks, I promise. No. I mean, I'm sorry that I left you. It's all my fault, you know. And I just... I just needed you to know that I'm sorry.
my brother. <laughs>